Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Shown on screen is the Photoshop Elements Organizer window. The first step in learning how to use this window is to learn the names and locations of the tools available in the Organizer window. If you are used to a typical Windows environment, you will have some familiar tools available. Take a moment to acquaint yourself with the various parts of the Organizer window and what you can do within the various parts of the window. At the top of the window is the menu bar. If you're using a Windows computer, then to the right of the menu bar are the Minimize, Maximize or Restore, and Close buttons. You can click those buttons to control the size of the entire application window. The menu bar contains commands grouped by category that you can click to perform tasks in the organizer window. For example, the file command contains all the necessary commands for file management. You can click a command in the menu bar to display a drop-down menu that lists the subcommands available to perform. Then click the subcommand that you want to perform in the drop-down menu. Some subcommands are followed by a right pointing arrow. This symbol simply means that you must roll your mouse pointer over that command and then make a selection from a side menu of choices that appears in order to execute that command. To do this, simply hold your mouse pointer over the command until you see the side menu appear. Then slide your mouse pointer into the side menu and click one of the available command choices shown. Some subcommands are followed by an ellipsis mark. When clicked, these subcommands will launch a dialog box into which you must input additional information or make a selection before you can execute the subcommand. For example, if you select File, then Manage Catalogs from the menu bar, you will be presented with the Catalog Manager dialog box. In the dialog boxes that appear, you can click the X or Close button, or you can click the Cancel button or press the Escape key on your keyboard to close or cancel the window without making a choice. One way to become faster at using Photoshop Elements is to memorize the keyboard shortcuts for the menu bar commands you frequently use. Using the menu bar when learning the program lets you view and learn the available keyboard shortcuts. Keyboard shortcuts appear to the right of their corresponding subcommands in the menu bar's drop-down menus. For example, to view the Catalog Manager dialog box, press and hold down the Control and Shift keys on your keyboard. Then tap the C key on your keyboard. Then release all your keyboard keys. You can see that the keyboard shortcut of Control plus Shift plus C appears to the right of the Manage Catalogs command in the File Menu Bar Commands drop-down menu. Below the menu bar, within the Organizer window, is the Shortcuts bar. The Shortcuts bar lets you filter files by clicking the buttons in the middle of the Shortcuts bar. These buttons are named Media, People, Places, and Events. These also let you display those types of items within this window. You can also click the eLive button in the Shortcuts bar to view the eLive page in the Organizer window. At the left end of the Shortcuts bar is the Import drop-down button. You can click this button to select how to import photos and videos into the organizer. At the right end of the shortcuts bar are the Create and Share drop-down command buttons. These buttons let you create and share images within the organizer window. Using those tools will be discussed in upcoming lessons. Below the shortcuts bar is the organizer window. When the media choice is selected from the shortcuts bar, Thumbnails of the media files you have imported into the organizer appear here. The thumbnails are arranged without spaces between them in an adaptive grid layout. This view lets you see more media files without disrupting the aspect ratio of the media files. File details such as the file names and tags are not shown in this view. To switch the view between the adaptive grid view and a details view that shows the rating and date of each media file, select View, Details from the menu bar. Doing this toggles the view between the two views. Also note that the Organizer window's content changes depending on which shortcut button in the shortcuts bar is currently selected. The task bar appears at the bottom of the Organizer window. The task bar contains the Show Hide Panel, Undo and Redo, Rotate Left or Right, Add Location, Add Event, Slideshow, Instant Fix, Editor, Zoom, 
and keyword info buttons. These buttons help organize media files, undo and redo changes, launch slideshows, zoom media, and apply instant fixes and tags to media, among other features. If you select an image in the organizer and then click the Instant Fix button in the taskbar, the photo opens in an Instant Fix window. This window lets you apply quick fixes such as crop or red eye to the currently selected image. Click the fix to apply within the toolbar shown at the right side of the Instant Fix window. Then click the Save button in the lower right corner to save your fix and then click the Done button. Alternatively, you can click the Back button in the upper left corner of this window to return to the organizer without making any changes. Clicking the Keyword slash Info button at the right end of the taskbar launches the Tags and Information panes that lets you organize media. You can click the Keyword Info button again to toggle the display of the pane off once again. At the left side of the window is the Albums and Folders panel which displays folders and albums you create. This panel lets you easily navigate to different files you have stored in albums within the organizer and folders on your computer. You can click the Albums or Folders buttons at the top of this panel to switch between the two views. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.